Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to give you an easy and quick tutorial of how to use Canva to edit photos. So as always, go ahead and log in to your Canva account. Then while you're on the Canva homepage, on the upper right corner, click on Upload. Then feel free to upload any image that you want to edit using Canva's editor suite. Once you've uploaded an image you wish to edit, click on Edit Photo. This will open up Canva's simple dedicated image editor. To access all features, select Open this photo in a design. This will open your uploaded image as a Canva design, which gives you all the tools that Canva has in order to edit the image to your liking. As you can see, there are a huge number of tools like the background remover, magic eraser, and magic editor. Just like other photo editors, Canva also has some preset filters to use, and you can even change their intensity. Canva also offers a large number of effects that you can use in order to edit the image even further. You can add effects like shadows, autofocus, and blur. And after selecting one of these effects, you can edit the intensity of the effect further. Now, if you click on Edit Image on the upper left corner of the photo, you can even adjust the default standard photo editing settings like brightness, contrast, and saturation. Here, you have so many options to edit the image. A really interesting tool that Canva has in its photo editor are these smart mockups. What these smart mockups are are basically images where you can put your image into them. As you can see, if we select phone 2, the image that we're trying to edit of the couple will be displayed on the phone. This is a really cool way to personalize your image even further. You can even choose different designs like sweatshirts and hoodies and see how your image will look like as a printout. Here we have even more duotone filters. And we can even see different other applications that we can use in order to edit the image even further. For example, let's try using the autofocus tool. By using the autofocus tool that Canva has, we can change the blur intensity and position. Canva is pretty much replicating the effect that you would have when using, for example, a DSLR camera. As you can see, we can change the blur position and intensity, and you can see the changed effects in real time on your image. Here, we can add some really cool and trippy paint effects. If you want to turn your photo into a work of art, it's as simple as a click of a button. Here, we're also experimenting using the Slice Editor, and this adds a kind of weird grainy look on your image. So as you can see, the tools that Canva is offering to edit your image are kind of truly endless. You can definitely spend hours upon hours using all these different tools and experimenting the kinds of tools you want when editing your images. Of course, with all those special tools, Canva also has the basics covered. You can click on the corners or sides of the image to resize it to whatever aspect ratio you want. And of course, you can definitely reposition the photo on the design and even crop it. Now, if you redirect your attention to the left-hand side, you can even add elements just as you would with any other Canva design. For now, let's click on Elements, and let's look for a retro sticker to add to the photo. Here, I'm just going to show you guys what it's going to look like when you choose an element to add to the photo. I'm going to choose a classic old school camera. What's really cool is that these custom elements can even be edited. So you can click on the element and see the different options it has to change its color, etc. Now let's try searching for some other elements. This time I want to look for a vintage tape. I'm not really feeling any of these other vintage tapes, but I do like these flowers and we can easily add it to the current element we already have, which is the camera. Now, let's also try adding a background to our image. For this video, I'm going to go with a vintage paper background. 
So for example, I want to go with this manuscript looking background, add it. And you can also change the position of the background and push it to the very back. As you can see, the Canva photo editor is really quite robust in its operations and applications. You can resize pretty much anything, add it and reposition it. You can even rotate it until you're happy with how it looks. For now, I'm going to try and make this vintage collage looking look. Of course, as you can see, Canva can even add some text boxes for its photo editing. If you click on text on the left hand side, you can see the different text styles that you can add to your photo. For now, let's add a header to this image. Since we're making a very romantic couple photo, let's put the caption as I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Don't forget you can also change the font, font size, and font style. Here, I want to make the font something like a typewriter style for an image that looks straight out of a walk to remember or something. As you can see, it really is so simple and easy to change the font color and even edit the font after you've chosen one already. A simple and easy trick I know to add more depth and style to our font is to add a shadow style underneath it. This makes the font less flat and more appealing to look at. Now go ahead and feel free to edit the photo as you wish. And once you're happy with the design, go ahead and on the upper right corner, click on share. Then click on download. Make sure the file type is something that you want to use. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go with PNG. And then go ahead and download your now edited photo. As you can see, we went from a very simple standard photo of a couple hugging to a custom from the ground up, beautiful photo of a collage. This kind of photo truly belongs in a postcard, am I right? Either way, we've now reached the end of our video. Congratulations, you now know how to use Canva's photo editor. If you have any other inquiries or questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to leave a like or subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this kind of content. Thanks so much for watching, happy editing, and we'll see you guys in the next one.